Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we are in nature, with nature. We are learning, slowly but surely. We have received some irrigation equipment. First thing is to unroll all the rolls because it is very tiresome to try to place a spiral, spiraling tube that always wants to go into a loop. So let's unroll this. We are calling on the help of this dried corn hay and on the wood chipper. And then we have a puller. <laughs> Let's see how it goes. Walk. Out of the gate, over the creek, up to the eastern end. It's okay. It's okay. Just wait. Okay, this one is not working. With the uh, thicker pipes, I can roll them, tie one end, and then I roll it to the other side. But this one is a little bit tricky. Let me think. This is part of the delivery. We have almost 6,000 of these drippers. It's one that we can open and uh, clean that was important to me lots of colors to put onto the 32 millimeter and 40 millimeter pipe and then connected with the drip line 16 millimeter drip line And these are some of the ends to bend the end of the pipe. And then T's and connection units and elbows. And then the spaghetti pipe, five millimeter. Um, to put on top of uh, the droppers to get the water to where we want it to be and also to be able to clean it easier. I also ordered a uh, pipe cutter. I hope it will make my job much easier. We have a lot of these valves and then also a punch to make the holes to stick the droppers in. I have unrolled a few hundred meters of these pipes already. They're out in the sun, straightening them out. Now the thinner pipe is the headache. It doesn't unroll well. We will have to find a way. I have cut my way through the local flora. I have cut down most of the nettle and thistle that is taller than me. 
and uh, the irrigation system should start at the beginning where the water is this is how I designed it this is the cistern of the Kanat system a Moorish infiltration system there are two of these ventilation or entrance holes and then uh, the water collects here I have removed this 32 millimeter pipe I will now install a 40 millimeter pipe first thing there will be a filter and then I will take a 40 millimeter pipe east and west each of them with a valve and from there we have various options I still find it surprising uh, to walk here it's almost not like my land I don't know it I fell in three holes already because in the past I could see everything and now I can't amazing growth we had with the rain and the sunshine beautiful the pump is over there here I have unrolled the first 40 millimeter pipe I will take that there and then it runs south north north south along the creek and then I will use the collars to put onto this 40 millimeter 40 millimeter pipe and run a drip line over there with the pump I have I can have about two to three hundred drippers which is great and I will have a valve at the beginning of the line beautiful roses our second garden second rose garden and then I will run another line here it goes all the way to the end there actually much further than that and following the creek where we still have a puddle of water then another collar and the drip line to feed all these so we will cut the local flora all around this berm clean the middle part uh, install the drip line and then uh, install the different drippers and also the spaghetti pipe on top of that and then cover it with mulch this is the idea things might change 
and we will just jump to the next one, to the next one, to the next one. There are about seven of them here, of these berms. I'm looking forward to have this installed. We have cool weather the next 14 days, which gives me sufficient time to get this done, hopefully. And then we are ready. More bales of corn hay, if that is the way we call it, will arrive soon. And then it must go out, do its job. This um, leaky weir is quite leaky. This is built out of sand. Doesn't hold that much water. Till next time. Goodbye.